bringing news that matters to you. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. Institutions across the island are preparing to open their doors for the upcoming school year. Our Kimberly Mullings tells us how Bishop Michael Eldon has spent the summer getting ready. Bishop Michael Eldon School is under renovation during the summer months each year, and this year is no different. The institution has been around for 50 years and has a new tuck shop to go along with this year's repairs before the reopening of school in the next three weeks, according to Principal Anita Doherty. We are still in the process of um, doing all the repairs. As you know, this school is over 50 years old, and so every year we're trying to uh, replace um, and do certain things to make sure that the school is ready for us, our staff and our students. She added that the school's enrollment remained steady, even after the school rolled out new programs. Last year, 27th graders sat BJCs for the first time, receiving favorable results, and this summer, incoming students participated in summer readiness programs at BMES. This was the first year that we would have had our grade sevens come in, uh, mandatory summer school, and it was here that we um, did all those things that generally we would do in the first three weeks of school. We have our PACE program, and, and our PACE program that we've started um, really tries to fill the gaps of the students. Doherty says the Warriors are going into the new school year with a positive theme, learning today, leading tomorrow. The learning is what we're always all about and of course we can see it in the community, in the wider community, in the Bahamas and in the world that we are leaders. With three former students participating in the Olympics this year, Joanna Evans, Jeffrey Gibson, and Donald Thomas, Principal Doherty says BMES is proud to boast of the all-around student product. The academics is what we push, but then because we know that our kids are so talented, um, and if, we, um, if they focus on all the things that they're very good at, then when they leave, they can go anywhere and do anything and be anything that they want to be. Kimberly Mullings, ZNS Network News. Well, the 2016-2017 academic school year is fastly approaching and parents have already started their back-to-school shopping. Our ZNS News team hit the streets today and spoke with several store managers who agree that while the flow of the shoppers have been to a minimum, they usually experience a rush to it during the last two weeks in August. So far, we haven't had the school rushes yet, but customers are coming in here and there. People are coming around, they're looking to see what they're going to get. They usually wait until maybe the last week in August, maybe the week about when school is opening, to make sure to come um, and get some for their child for school. We're pretty much excited about this upcoming back to school season. We're stocked out with all the character bags, uh, popular 99 cents black and white meal composition books, all the teachers say, the textbooks, the workbooks and so on. And even the kids are enjoying their back-to-school shopping. Eight-year-old Janaya Grant told us that she's excited about shopping for back-to-school supplies. Me, my grandma, and my cousin, we were going all around town to shop for us to reopen school. We're looking for ties, skirts, and jumpers. In other news, the Reach Out Youth Ministry is hosting its annual summer camp at Reach Out Ministry Center. A lot of boys and girls turning out for the camp this week where they will be participating in a number of activities. President of Reach Out Ministries, Dudley Sage, says this year's camp will be a bit different. We, uh, we have uh, facilitators come and talk to the kids. We still have that, but this year we're going to hear from the kids. We're going to hear from them uh, how they feel about crime. We're going to talk to them, uh, hear from them what they feel about bullying. We're also going to hear from them how they feel that the con uh, how the economy is. Uh, but this camp is going to be geared to hear from the kids. Uh, we'll be taking field trips. We'll be going over to the cave. One of the highlights of the camp will be uh, taking the young kids to see Central. They'll have an opportunity to go through the, to see how, how the cells are here in Grand Bahama. He says that there will also be a graduation ceremony for the kids at the end of the camp. We'll be, we're doing every kid that comes to the camp will have backpack, books and pencil. This year we're going to do it different with our giveaway. 
uh, all the camps, all the campus will have school supplies uh, so they can be ready for when school is reopened. And now it is time to ask the doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Welcome. DP sent this question. My teenage daughter recently told me she was pregnant. She's only 16. How do I deal with this? Thanks for being brave enough to share your question. Pregnancy can be one of the most difficult experiences that a teenage girl can ever face. Understanding how to support your daughter as she deals with this pregnancy is extremely important. Most teenage girls don't plan on getting pregnant at such a young age, but unfortunately they do. Pregnant teens and their babies are at a higher risk of experiencing various health problems than those who are older. The most common complications, particularly for those who are younger than age 15, as well as those who don't receive prenatal care, include anemia, high blood pressure, and preterm labor. So if you or someone you know has a teenage daughter that is pregnant, help is available. Please make an appointment with one of our obstetricians at any of our community clinics for counseling, family planning, and prenatal care. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Stay with us, Ricardo Liveborn has a check on sports when we return.